Here I go again I hear those trumpets blow again All a glow again Taking a chance on love Here I slide again About to take that ride again Starry-eyed again Service station. Yeah, okay, I'll get him. Mr. Van Julie. What is it? Phone. I think it's Mr. Bernardini. Oh, Harry. Hello. Yeah, hang on a minute. Maureen. Yeah. See if you can find a tighter sweater in the back, will you? <laughs> Harry. Look, sir. Uh, have you got a new courier yet? Oh, good. Well, how will I recognise him? Yeah. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. A buzzard has shattered my windscreen. Oh, <laughs> nice one, Harry. No danger of a slip up there, is there? I mean, no chance of somebody coming. Yeah, all right, Harry. A buzzard has shattered my windscreen. Yeah, I like that. John, bird of prey. Oh, do you think it's all right? I've just swallowed a shovel full of broken glass, Alice. I'm certainly not feeling too good. No, we really need the vets. Yeah. <laughs> oh, quite simple, really. Just a tug twist. No? I mean, ring the vets, Tom. Oh, yes, well, uh, probably too late. Best you get in and drive. Uh, one good push could get us clear. No? Oh. Yeah. Well, couldn't you drive, Tom? Well, no, no, it needs, needs me to push. Ah, oh, sorry. Yes, I'm with you now. <laughs> Looks like buzzard. Poor chap. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Alison, uh, put car into first gear. Okay. Uh, I give signal. Go easy on clutch, right? Right. Um, Tom? Yes? Um, I know the, um... Yes? You know, the, um, little acceleration thingy. Yes, yes. Um, I'm not quite sure about the, um... Oh, it, clutch is on the left. Okay. Right. <laughs> left? <laughs> no, I think I've got the hang of it now, Tom. <laughs> Child. Ah, good. Yes, little problem. Large bird, shattered windscreen. I'll get you some toilet paper. <laughs> no. No, uh, shattered as in... <laughs> as in broken. Yes, need replacement. Uh, I'll call Mr. Fangioli. And um, Tom, I think I'd better ring Mummy and Daddy, tell them we'll be a bit late. Yes, good thing. Very good, yes. So, uh, are you a buzzard has shattered your windscreen? Funny you should say that, yes. Mm. Mm. Looks like it was a very frightened bird. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Came here for replacement windscreen, not third-rate music hall act. Why? You mean your windscreen is actually broken? Completely. What a professional. All right, Squire. I'll get one of the lads to fix it for you. Put a temporary in. Anything else? The rear ashtray needs sluicing out. Well, call you as soon as it's ready. Pin-headed Bobo. Yes, Daddy's out shopping for a bit of Mothangora. Mummy's mm. having a bit of a cry. Situation normal, then. Mm, so that's a relief. <laughs> Just 
vegetable or oxtail? Coffee. <laughs> oh, well, I thought all them little floaty bits. All right, Tom. Oh, does this room never liked waiting rooms. Stuck in one of these, spring 69, two military policemen broke in, accused me of wearing shoe lifts and shaving off moustache. Arrested for desertion, taken to Stirling Castle. Oh, dear. <laughs> yes, there's on way to War on Want Banquet at Dorchester with a girl called Victoria. Chance of a lifetime. Oh, Victoria, was she the one who, um... Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Victoria Teak, daughter of Wing Commander Teak. Attractive girl, used to juggle grapes. <laughs> Only like one call from Cell, phoned best friend to act as replacement, 24 hours later, engaged to each other. Yes, well, if you'd got engaged to a Tom, you wouldn't have met me. <laughs> no. <laughs> still, still... Very nervous about meeting parents, especially after last time. Now, Tom, throwing a coat over that puddle for Mummy was a very chivalrous gesture. I mean, you weren't to know it was hers. <laughs> well, no excuse. Stupid thing to do. And now, planning to ask them for hand of only daughter. Keep trying to think of words. Get picture of mother crying. Now, Tom, the thing to do is just put her at her ease. Mm. Talk about animals, a bird. She likes uh, that. Yes. She used to be a P uh, busy bee with a PDSA. Uh, PDSA mm -hmm. is active organization. Set on once by mobile unit. Been reported by neighbor for maltreating Yorkshire Terrier. Only trying to take its temperature. You know. <laughs> yes, well, I think you better stick to birds, Tom. Ask her how the chaffinch with the broken Chaffin. wings getting on. Broken wing. And Daddy's even easier. You've just got to show an interest in his knitting and crochet. Interest. <laughs> you know, you say, um, pick up the crochet cover for the TV remote control, and you say, mm. oh, I wonder who made this pretty little thing. Mm. And then he'll do the rest. Wonder who made this pretty little thing. He'll do the rest. Where is that bloody mechanic? Oh! <laughs> It is easy, Governor. All right. We went as fast as we could. You all right, are you? Oh, yeah. It's got the bill. No, it's on the house, mate. Mm. And this is your free gift. Free gift? Oh, very kind. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, what is it, Tom? Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like wallpaper paste to me. Are you really? It's good. Uh, yeah. Well, what a professional. Can you help me? No, I'm just up for a coffee break. Uh, uh, a buzzer has shattered my windscreen. I'll get you some toilet paper. <laughs> you what? I believe you have a package for me. Huh? But <laughs> you come back here or I'll... It was a particularly valuable no, Malison. We bought it on our honeymoon in Truro. It's just that if we'd known he was coming, we'd have put it with the serviette rings in the bank. But I told you he was Correction, coming. Correction, Alison. You told us you were bringing someone who would change the whole direction of your life mentally. And physically. Yes, from your description, we were expecting a Norman St. John Stavers. And you bring him. Oh, you will try to be nice to him, won't you? I mean, all the things that happen to him can often leave him very flattened and depressed. Like that poor gnome. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Mummy, deep down, he's very sensitive about the way the world sees him. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Wonderful to have dry clothes on. Brainwave, Alison. Hello, little fellow. Feeling better? Um, Tom? Yes? Would you like some tea? Yes, lovely. Thank you. <laughs> um, Mummy? Oh. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Chaffinch. 
Um, Herd Chaffinch had broken wing. Wondered how it was getting on. You remember you told us you put it in plaster of Paris? Yes, well, your mother's first aid was extremely successful. Um, we let him out for a little fly around yesterday evening. Oh. Really? Congratulations. He flew three times round the kitchen and dived into the deep fat fryer. <laughs> Oh, come along, Mother. Come along. Pull yourself together. Uh, have another Bob Rill sandwich, Alison. Ah! <laughs> Wonderful crochet. It's tatting. Not at all. Far too modest. Um, would you like some more tea, Tom? Ah, love some, yes. Mm. Have mummy. Tea. Ah. <laughs> Daddy's taking us out for dinner tonight to the golf club. He's just been accepted as a member. Congratulations. Waited long? 23 years. <laughs> well, there was a certain amount of prejudice because of my interests. Mm. But I think attitudes towards the needle crafts are changing. Daddy keeps most of his stuff in the studio. I'm sure he'd love to show you. <clears throat> How's the decorating coming along? Well, uh, with my recently inflamed sinuses, I haven't quite finished the wallpapering. Well, Tom will help you. A pleasure. No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, it's, it's very good of you, thank you, but I've, I've, uh, I've run out of wallpaper paste. <laughs> no problem. Got spare packet <laughs> in the car. Get it for you now. More of old paste, stuff from garage, typical free gift, useless. <laughs> Gonna look very original, you know, this room. Perfect inspiration. I'd like to know how you started hobby. Uh, well, it was uh, when we were first married, I suppose. We couldn't afford all the little uh, necessities. Uh, Poodle toilet roll covers, brush and comb doily sets, uh, that uh, sort of thing. Mm. So I made them myself. Mm. Really? And then it became like a drug. Uh. <laughs> I'll show you some of my latest range this evening up at the golf club. Oh, look forward to that. Lovely game, golf. Used to enjoy quiet round. Oh, yeah. And what was your handicap? Weather, mostly. <laughs> Extraordinary thing. Every time it went on course, it rained. Rained? It's every time. Last time played, dying gasp of Hurricane Debbie tore roof off clubhouse. Decided to give it up then. Shame, really. Missed the competition. Ah, yes, yes. You know, there's a very competitive element in the world of needlecraft. Oh, really? Mm. Oh, yes. Security is a tremendous problem yeah. nowadays. Mm. Take the Crabtree sisters round here. Yeah. <laughs> they dominated the baby clothes section for seven decades now, mm. and they'll stop at nothing to get the pattern for a revolutionary new romper suit or a matinee jacket. Mm. Hard to believe. Old ladies um, like that breaking into people's terrible. homes. No care about <laughs> This is just a warning. How do you know? It says so. Message. This is just a warning. <laughs> it's the Crabtree sisters. I just knew it. Motorbike out there? Yes, that's them. Oh, you wait till I tell the committee about this. They won't exhibit so much as a, a pram cover after this. What's that message say? Uh, this is just a warning. We know you've got it. You know what it is. Give it back or we'll... <laughs> Throw another brick <laughs> through your window. Uh, this is the members' entrance. As you can see, notices uh, and items of interest yes. on display. Oh, Daddy, that's um. Got everything here, Mr. Little. Niblick warmer, driver cosy. 
mashy warmer. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, I've tried to cover the whole range of golfing accessories, mm. but of course, slanted to the wool and wool mix enthusiast. Mm. Remarkable. Oh, thank you. No, no, fellow over there. Hmm? Yeah. Oh, that's our club secretary. I won't introduce you if you don't mind, just in case. Oh, do you know him, Tom? Yes, I certainly do, yes. Um, wing commander. Yes. Remember me? Chance. Yes. Tom Chance. Spot on. <laughs> I'd like you to meet wing commander Teak. Told you about him this morning. Oh, yes. Of course, yes. You're not members, are no, you? No, no. In that case, I'm afraid I must ask you to leave. No. Because no. club rule no. insists no. that members... No. No. <laughs> Uh, guests of Mr. Little here. It's true. Uh, well, um, in a manner of, uh, yes. Just talking about daughter this morning. Last time heard of, got engaged to best friend. <laughs> yes, well, your friend let her down, rather, I'm afraid. She's been in a Zurich sanatorium ever since. <laughs> oh, dear. Didn't get married, then? No. Your friend married my wife. <laughs> well, excuse me, I think I need a drink. Yes, well, let's all go through to the bar then, yes. shall we? This is my office. The bar's through there. Yeah, the bar's through here. Ah, good. Uh, sweet sherry, Mother? Thank you, Alison. Yes, please. Yes. Right. Oh. <coughs> Tom's always meeting old friends like that. Well, people are used to know, anyway. Yes. Things are always happening to Tom. That's what makes it such fun. A petal, can I say something rather serious? Well, of course you can, Mummy. When I was a young woman, before I married your father, there was a young man I knew, the supervisor at the munitions factory. Oh, is he the photo you keep in the back of the powdered egg recipe book? <laughs> well, he wanted to take me out, but I knew that if I said yes, I'd be expected to adopt a very different way of life. Drink, smoke, go to parties, and reach heights of unspeakable ecstasy with him in the back of his van. <laughs> I thought very hard about it and went out with your father instead. Oh, I know what you're saying, Mummy. You don't think that was a mistake, do you? Well, I've often wondered. <laughs> no, no, Tom's trousers. Oh. They shrunk so badly in the tumble dryer. No wonder his eyes were watering in the back of the car. Extraordinary thing. Turned up. Barman was old chum. Oh, not another one. Yes, yes. Trapped with him once when water main burst in instant potato factory. <laughs> Still remembers me. I wonder why. Yes. <laughs> not entirely sure, actually. <laughs> to dinner like that? A nonsense! I'll mend them! If you take them off in the little boys' room, Daddy can bring them out for me. Wonderful girl, Alison. Never forget this. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Never forget it, neither will I. <laughs> Take you out into the rough and you can play fetch with a pair of my spikes. Arthur Paget. <laughs> yes? That you, Arthur? Yes, why? <laughs> Remember me? <laughs> Naked, on the floor, ten tonner. Pardon? Arrested for desertion, Stirling Castle. Tom? Yeah. I didn't recognize you. Not surprising. Bag overhead most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I... Good to see you. Yes, yes. Probably wondering what I'm doing here. How many guesses do I get? Oh, split trousers, waiting for repairs. Oh, I see. Well, I've got a spare pair in my locker if you'd like to borrow them. Splendid. Got it. <laughs> Fancy running into you. <laughs> <laughs> Only talking about you today, your exploits in military police. God, Tom, how could we have done it to you? Not all bad, though. Naffy Lager, sevenpence hatefully a pint. <laughs> it's all right.
right, it's only me. That my wife's still in the ladies, so we'll have to wait a bit longer. We don't like people hanging around in that prison. <laughs> right? We prefer members to confine their socialising to the bar this way. Uh, no, I was trying to contact my... A young man. That's what I was afraid of. <laughs> Oh, where is she? <laughs> Doreen. <laughs> Doreen, you ready to go? a moment. Doreen's in the ladies giving Alison a hand. Ah, mm, yeah. Really extraordinary display. Oh, thank you. Can't help noticing. Balaclava. Mm. Oh, yes. I can dry it on. <laughs> That's it. Good protection against wind. <laughs> Visibility possibly little restricted. Ah, uh, no, no, you see, you've got it on sideways. Uh, Pull it round. Let me show you. Like this. Uh, oh, yes. It. Much better. That's yes, yes, very good. <laughs> phone the station. Mm. Oh, well, I think Daddy's got a timetable somewhere. <laughs> police station. Mm. I'm delivering the dog to one of my men. Not in police now, Arthur. Yes, Detective Inspector, no less. Really? Congratulations. Thank you. Mm. Yes, I've just collected this lad from training school. Mm. Oh, really? What's he training for? Drug sniffing. He passed out top of his class. Oh. <laughs> Do you know, Arthur, I can understand them, like, detecting the drugs, but how on earth do they communicate to you? Oh, it's pretty obvious when they're onto something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they start by sniffing the area of search. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then they usually start to whine. <laughs> and when they're sure they're onto something, they bark furiously. after its car journey. Oh. <laughs> Funny, that. It's not your fault, Tom. It's not Arthur's either. It's just that when a dog like that thinks it's found several kilos of cocaine, well, the police have got to do their duty. It's just a pity they thought there was a secret compartment behind the wall. You know? Only decent thing to do. Creep. Quietly away. Come back on Monday. Pick you up. Now, Tom, don't you think if you did that, you'd be running away from it all? Absolutely, yes. No, Tom. Come along. <laughs> She'll be all right in a minute. Yeah. She's just a little bit upset about the strip search. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, Daddy, <coughs> Tom and I have got a little bit of news that might help cheer you up a bit. <laughs> Certainly have. Mr. and Mrs. Little, proud to announce engagement to Alison.
Sonra 